Hi, welcome to your introduction video for our Facebook group tracker. I'm actually very proud of this one because this was one of the first sort of more complicated spreadsheets I built for my business. So this was kind of what a lot of my other ones were based on. Uh, so yeah, this is for if you're if you have a Facebook group basically for 50 people or more where you can then use the insights and get a view of how well your group is going, you know, how engaged are your members, how active are they? Um, you know, it's a great view to be able to see how your group is doing. Facebook groups can be a very powerful tool if you're using them for prospecting, your customers, your team, however you're using them, it's great to see how actually engaged your group is. So um, first thing you want to do when you get, when you're obviously inside this template is you need to make a copy. This is view only, just so obviously nobody can obviously override any, uh, any of my formulas or anything like that. So the first thing you need to do is make a copy or download it. If you want to have this in Google Docs just like this, you just go to file and then make a copy and then that will store in your own Google Drive. Or if you want to download it to Excel, just go to download as and choose Excel and then that would be downloaded on your computer. So let's just kind of go through this tracker. So this is your dashboard. So this is just gonna be a nice kind of simple view of how your group is doing. You're gonna to get to see the different trends. You're gonna to get to see maybe, you know, spikes, troughs of how things are doing. So you can be able to see if you maybe need to do more effort or maybe, you know, you've got a certain campaign you're doing that's done really well or didn't do as well as um, a previous one. It's a great way to be able to see how things are going. I'm a community manager, so, you know, this is why I use this and I built this was because I have to report on how groups are doing um, and this is exactly what I use uh, for my own uh, contract. Okay, so uh, let's just go into the details. So this is based on 2019. Obviously with this template, all you'll need to do, you know, if, if you're gonna continue using this throughout the years, you can use this same one and just change a few things. So this is basically where, um, this is all the detail now. Hopefully it's not gonna scare you. It's actually pretty simple with all you need to um, do. So this is based down into weeks. So every week, I go in and I update this based on the group insights. So um, you've got here in the information, you've got your, um, it's done into quarters, weeks, and months because we have a weekly view, a monthly view, and also a quarterly view. So this is why this information is here. Um, I have my week starting on a Monday. If you want to, if you have a different reporting day, um, then you just need to change this date, then everything else basically will automatically change. It's all done on like a plus seven. Uh, so you just need to change that first date and the whole rest of that row will automatically update. Um, I have got this just because I don't want to have the entire year showing. So this little plus sign on the left will actually open up further. Uh, it's basically done in quarters. So you just need to click on the little pluses to be able to open up everything. But obviously, you know, you can't really see much else. So you can then just hit the little minus and it will minimize um, those other quarters. So you can just kind of see what you want. And also your graphs, if you have everything open, so especially when you're starting in January, it's going to show, um, it basically shows what you've got in that detail bit. So you might not need to see, you know, it'll be a tiny little graph if you've got everything before you kind of are there. So that's why that is there. So what you need to do is go into your group insights. Um, and then uh, let me just get up one of my groups. But you're basically, you just need to add in the, your total members, uh, how many posts, how many comments, how many reactions, and how many active members. That's it. That's all you need to do is just put in those five bits of information and the rest is all done for you. If you want to get a VA do this for you, you can do that as well. Totally up to you how you want to use this. Um, say I do this every week um, and I just pop in that information and you'll need to then this yellow uh, cell up here is for your current week. So there's a little note there you can see you need to change the week number based on where you are. So if you're here, you know, and you've got all your information and you're on that current week, you'll need to then change that to be number four. And the reason being is on your summary tab, you're basically going to have a comparison between last week and this week and things are hidden up there. So you don't need to worry. It will automatically just show you then what the difference between last week and this week is. So you can then see if you've got a massive difference or if it's kind of on track. Um, 
so that's what's that for so that's why you'll just need to change that each week you've got, I've given you you've got two groups so if you've got maybe a free group and a customer group um, then you can use that um, or maybe you have a prospecting one and a team one um, you've got two groups that are the same one thing and both of them should show up um, I think on here I only use one but um, for one of my clients I have two so that's why I've got uh, two different ones here so you can then just use that as well uh, so just rename you know where it says customer group if it's a team and then I would recommend where it just says customer here just change those to team as well it just makes it all come through on your labeling here so yeah it's pretty simple you just need to add in those five columns and then the monthly information will automatically populate for you based on your weekly information and as well then for the quarterly so you've just got to do it weekly um, and then the rest shows up for you and then you've got this really nice graph view to be able to do it so when you're in your group insights just make sure you've got your date range um, <clears throat> your date range on. So here's kind of one of my free groups that I, that I use. So just come along to group insights. Now you do have to have 50 members or more to be able to have this. Um, so you can go to your um, growth. This shows you your members. So just make sure where you've got this, that you change that to be the date. So if you do this, say every Monday, like I do, I just do last seven days cause it's then Monday to Sunday, or you can do custom days um if you don't necessarily do it on the same day you can then say right i want this to this and then just click update and then it's going to give you the information so you've got your total members and then all your engagement stuff then is in there so you've got posts comments reactions and then your active members so you're just going to take those bits of information pop them into into these cells and that's it you're good to go so it will literally take you about five minutes um and that's pretty much it so i hope this really helps you it definitely helps me in my business if you have any questions feel make sure you come over and join our private facebook group and you can ask any questions and i'd love to know how it helps you so i uh, hope this video helps and happy tracking bye